Okay, where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, so I am seriously running behind. What is my thing doing? I don't know what it's doing. <sighs> I know I'm finally made it live. So I like got totally distracted and not quite ready for today. If I would have, I would have like fixed my lipstick. I look like it looks crazy, doesn't it? Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm like four minutes late. I am so sorry. I'm never like four minutes late. Never. And my helper isn't here at all. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I just like ran in and I didn't unpack my sewing machine from sewing. Not last night, Tuesday night. We had 4-H sewing. I didn't get that unpacked either. I didn't iron my fabric. I got nothing cut. But the important thing is this is such an easy pattern or just such an easy project. You just have to remember 12 and 18 and you're just going to be amazed. Hey, is it Riolis? Riolis. You made it to the show for the first time. Yes. Tanya's in the house. All right. So you're going to love this project. Um, you really can... Um, that's how I'm organizing. That's the ADHD in me. I'm like flinging around. Well, it didn't help either because the other day I got into like restructuring a um, old tape player. I'm like, oh, I need to fix this. Anyways, as I did, I made a mess and I didn't do anything. Plug it in the iron because I'm going to need that. All right. I did get all my fabric washed. Ooh, I don't have all my fabric here. Let me go get some fabric. Just look at the pretty sewing machine. I'll be right back because I can't take you with me. Okay. I'm back. So I did not go fabric shopping in all these at all. But this is my fabric after it's been washed. And I haven't ironed any of it. I just need to find like what I want to do the um, pattern out of. Ooh, that looks like really good too. So if you want to see my whole stash of fabric from my haul at Joann's, what is that thing reflecting on? You can go, and there's a live show I did last Saturday, so it wasn't my last one. My last one was Mama Chat. So if you want to talk about making mom friends, you should go back and watch Mama Chat, How to Make Mom Friends, because that was like, that was a great live show. But anyways, look at that. Do you always pre-wash fabric? Only when the gathering matters. Hair scrunchies, it doesn't. But what will happen is if I don't pre-wash, it will kind of like, um, have you, if you ever make something and after you make it, it's like things are like, it's just forever wrinkly because it doesn't line up. That's from not washing your fabric. But, um, so little things like hair scrunchies, I don't bother with, but big things like this will be a table runner. Yes. The pillowcase. Yes. Because then I won't feel like it never straightens out. So what's nice is you don't have to have a lot of fabric you can simply get a half yard and a half yard to do this project i'm a little bit i don't know you guys have to help me decide which fabrics to use so i'm kind of in the air about those yeah see more fabrics i'm just like this is how i got them out my did i tell you my sister had a baby she just had a baby i gotta mail it i'm like the worst at mailing things but look look like, isn't that cute? I'm sending that. I couldn't like resist. I was like, oh, and I had to laugh. She looks just like my kids. I'm like, yep, your relations. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, so here's my choices. Okay, here's my choices. Oh, I need to hook that one thing up. So I have, there it is, there it is, there it is. I'm gonna hook this thing up. This thing will help me so much. I don't know if my daughter's coming. I've I hate to say I've been on a rampage. I haven't been on quite a rampage, but I've been on a rampage. If you see me, I'm like looking there and not there. But I'll just turn this so then I can kind of see. 
Um, need to catch on chat. So I like this because now I have it on a, a wire. That makes sense. I have um, my web, I have a webcam. I went ahead and got a webcam because I didn't like the way that you can't always see the stuff. I'm sorry if I made y'all sick there for a minute. Look, I look like a hot mess with like lip liner, no lipstick. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay. So you have to tell me, um, do I go for like the very, I don't know, kind of traditional, um, I don't know, kind of country-ish. See, I'm thinking like this. I don't really like that. Maybe this. Maybe this. More of this, less of that. Or more of this, less of that. Maybe this. Or I was thinking about this on top of this one. Then I also thought about these two instead. But what I don't like is, maybe I'll do two because I'll show you. You can put a trim in it really good. I'm watching from a tiny phone screen, so I can't see... Um, Fabric details. Yeah, let's see. I, I think I like this one for pillowcases. Just joined in. It's Claudia. How are you, ladies? We're good. We're good. I know I'm looking at both places. Sorry. I need to be more like, I'm good. I'm still looking to the side. Forgive me if you don't like my um, thing. I'm a little bit off today. I'm trying to organize. So living in 700 square feet, it's a little bit like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's hard to get into the Christmas spirit. I won't lie. Like Christmas spirit in the sewing room, not Christmas spirit in the house. So I'm like, took a couch out, took chairs. Holly would be a great pillowcase. I know. So I bought everything for a pillowcase. And if I get them done, before the fourth, I'm going to sell them. I think I'm going to do a live sale on Facebook. You know, like how they do Lula Roos, except it's going to be my pillowcases or something like that. I'm going to, I'm going to set a date and sell them. I think I'm selling them for, like I was figuring out the fabric. Okay. So a yard and a half, it's about a yard and a half of fabric, just in fabric. And some of the fabrics cost me around 12, would be twelve ninety nine a yard. So, but I didn't pay that much. So I'm like, well, whatever the discount was on the fabric, I would just use that as my sewing money time. And um, so I was thinking of a yard and a half would be 12 and 18. So $18 for a pillowcase and then two for thirty or two for 30 if you buy two. So that's what I was thinking. You know, and it, that's the hard part about sewing is you put your time into it, but you could go buy something at Walmart for just like nothing. But what you're getting is handmade. But then at the same time, I'm not even charging my time. I'm just charging like what the value of the fabric is. So it's like really hard. Holly would be great for a pillowcase. Hi, girls. Um, I have a lot of clutter and I really make decorating for Christmas hard, but I'm trying. So we clean off the porch because one of the things I'm also having issues with is um, being able to how to put it being able to like I'm just you like how I'm just organizing I made my decision um do school do school between and they keep evading me my children keep evading me when we're trying to do school they're over here they're over there so I really miss having everything under one one roof I'm just I cannot be in so many places Joelle you made it Yay! All right, all right. Oh, I gotta turn my iron on. But look, I can take you with me now. Can you see it? Turn it on. You know, get your handy dandy pliers. Oh, can you even see? I'm not even pointing. See, so yeah, I got my stuff up there. Get my handy dandy pliers. Well, that's that's the um, world map fabric I bought the other day. So I got that on. Oh. You, I mean, I am like serious clutterness because look, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm full clutter. All right. So this is what I've decided to go with. I got a new, I should be getting a new, um, tripod because this one's the really cheap one. When I started YouTubing, 
two years ago. And, you know, it's $10 on Amazon, so I just bought it. I think I bought it off Amazon. And then I bought a nicer one. Asbury's in the house. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to go with this one. So here's the thing. This is a table runner. It's not exactly a heating pad. You can make it a heating pad. It wouldn't be, like, really hard. You could do it. But um, the tiniest are here. You could do it as a table. And what I would do is I would actually put in like a towel. You know, like I'm a recycler because I'm just that way. I would probably insert like, um, you can insert batting. But being the cheapo I am, I wouldn't want to, um, I wouldn't want to use the batting. But, you know, I don't like the... What's that stuff called where everybody does the tie blankets with? You know, they do the ties, the knot blankets, you know, no so knot blankets. Um, it's made out of plastic. It's essentially plastic. There's no cotton. I would use that because I have some of those around. I don't have any, but it's all right. This is just a table runner, you know. It's not a hot pad. Not a hot pad. It's a table runner. All right, so I'm going to use this holly because um, it has some really like weathered tan, you know, weathered kind of cream look to it. And then I'm gonna use this one. Be why? Because I don't even know if I like this one or not. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't know if I like this one or not. And so I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna make this one my 18 inch background. This one. Because I figured it would hide stains. And the really cool about thing about this pattern is that we can reverse it. It can be reversible. So you get two different designs on here. I mean, it's like going to be like just this or it's going to be this and this together. So you will need your two fabrics for this. But listen, the ladies at church make these all the time. This is how I learned to make them. Not that I went to the ladies at church to sew with them, but I just seen what they made. And I was like, oh, I can make that. And of course, the one's like... Yeah, let me show you how. All right, so the first thing I got to do. Oh, and I had to go with a red base because I don't, I'm too lazy. I don't want to um, change my thread out because that's just work. That's work. All right, so, you know, I feel like, did you ever watch, I love her. I don't watch her that often because I haven't been scrapbooking, but I need to be scrapbooking. I got into digital scrapbooking because I like the whole scrapbooking, scrapbooking, except um, it, it's stuff. And then I get overwhelmed that I can't find my stuff. So I wish my daughter would show up. I don't know what she's doing. She probably, I mean, I was, I was just cleaning the, um, porch and I was like I got three minutes and I was and I didn't have my sewing machine out here I'm just taking the threads and stuff um from washing it because otherwise it's you know it does this you don't want that and you can't get a straight stitch anyway so when I was scrapbooking I do digital now but when I was scrapbooking and I'd go to the meetups and stuff and I got introduced to the YouTuber, the Pink Stampin' Lady. Is it the Pink Stamp? The Pink My Pink Stamper. It was really cool because she like you would use crickets, the cricket, and she came out with like her own set of stamps, like to go with it. And she did that for a while. She was a like, Stampin' Up, and then she went out in her own line, and then she went back to Stampin' Up. I think it just got to be too much to deal with production, creation, and selling. It, it I mean, it would be. Red would be cute hot pads too. trim and towels. Well, and I was thinking too, is that I could do some really cool, like I have, I have about a yard and a half of this. There's some stuff I can do that would be just trim. So it wouldn't be like, this is all over the table, you know, like back in the eighties when they would take one fabric and just make everything out of it. And there'd be nothing to contrast. And I like good contrast going on. I guess when I bought this, I just wasn't thinking about like, what am I going to pair it with? I was just like, just add to the mix kind of deal so let me move you to see my hair today that's looking kind of rough it is seriously bedhead but hey if you're here give me a thumbs up if you don't mind
Give me a thumbs up. All right, so let's see if I've got this hot enough. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We gotta make sure you can see something good, some good action going on here. Do you not love this? I love it. I don't have to try and move my computer. My daughter will not do schoolwork today. She is still, is, yeah, mine's hiding too. All of mine hide. So I'm trying to get it set up at the house, up at the house, the on the porch, because we have a porch. This thing is not hot yet. It's not hot. Great. Woo! Um, we have the porch, so I'm trying to get it set up that we'll be able to put everything on the table. Like have a, like I'm gonna get one of the big like conference tables, the plastic conference tables, because we couldn't even do schoolwork on our kitchen table because we can't even all eat at the kitchen table. But I figured I could set it up. I could actually decorate the porch for Christmas. Still put a tree inside. I'm gonna buy a real little tree. And then, um, what else? Oh, and then we could start doing schoolwork there. So I took, I built those great little workbooks, but they're not working as good as I want them to be working. But I took everything and I took all the work for four kids at school and put it into one big binder. And so then that way I can just pull from them and hand them out. Um, how old is she? It reminds me of what I used to do. All right, let's see if this is hot yet. My daughter is baking instead of her homeschooling. Mine is like on Pinterest planning out her Christmas gifts, which is pretty awesome. She does every year. Okay. Y'all just have to forgive my, um, I don't know. I'm a little bit crazy. I had an emotional day, man. I got really emotional yesterday. Just living the way we're living and just making do. But I will tell you, I don't think I've told you guys. Um, I, we have, a, we have a closing date on our house now. So the house we're selling, we have a closing date. And I don't know if it's just like bringing the anxiety out in me and my husband or something. But it's just like, we don't kind of know what to do with ourselves. And then we're trying to make decisions on what to do. See, I'm pairing this up. I know you can't really see. Nope. Don't want to do that, do we? All right, so see, I'm just pairing this up. I'm looking to the side, seeing what it is, what, you're, what you see. And just making sure I got it paired up. I didn't iron it really good. See, I just kind of got it together. But I'm going to come back now and iron it now that it's in half. I'm giving you nothing but chest shots. I'm sorry. Look, there's my camera. There it is, sitting on the thing. Okay. Hey, I'm just ironing. Just some good old ironing. I miss Katie. Where's my Katie? Oh, she finally got in and started making the hair scrunchies. She definitely has it figured out. You know, at first it was a little bit off, but she has it figured out. It turned out so cute. But she made... So a while, the other day we went to a birthday party and she made one for her friend. Yeah, she made one for her friend and her, the sis, she made one for her friend's sister. We made some for her and we figured that her friend, her friend's sister would share. Apparently not the case. She won't share with her sister. So my daughter felt bad, and so she made her um, a couple of scrunchies to have. All right, so I'm going to cut this one while I'm here. Woo, that's not a fashionable side of me, is it? That's not. Um, I'm using a dry iron because I'm too lazy to deal with steam, and sometimes it doesn't always work out right. You're sewing. I'm cooking. I've got a group of people coming tonight for home fellowship. So I'm working on a bit of a pot of soup. You are my company in the kitchen. Well, I'm happy to be in the kitchen with you. Lori, guess what, though? I have a big... Oh, girl. Tell me that I'm showing myself. I didn't even know I showed myself. Um, I got a big pot of kombucha growing. It should be done. I had somebody come over and bring me a scoby. Can you believe that? I got myself a scoby. And, um, I've been thinking of you, thinking of you as I've been figuring it out. 
Um, yay, closing on the house. I know, right? Um, you know, I think dry iron or hot iron, wet iron, it's all personal preference because I just, I've spilt, I mean, I, one time I had the iron, I think it was this iron filled up and I forgot I had, I just unplugged it. I forgot I had hot water and I went to wind it up and I did this number to do it. And it, all that hot water poured right out all over my arm. Um, so I think after, I think that was my last time with a wet iron. I was just like, I am too forgetful to um, be entrusted with a wet iron. Too forgetful. So I'm cutting the edge off. Woo. See that? I'm just cutting the edge off. Yes, I'm using this backwards because it should be the other way, but I'm too lazy to change it. I'm a lazy sewer. Okay, so I need 12 inches here. I also use dry iron. If I need steam, I use this. Yeah, a spray spot, right? Um, what's this? Six. Twelve. All right. So there's my first piece. And look, I'm just going to organize that nice and handy. See that? I'm just organizing that. Let me put that in a safe spot over there. <laughs> All right. So there's my first one, my first piece. You're going to just go crazy. I mean, uh, mine always seems to leak. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, that's why I don't trust them. So you can have this done by now. If you weren't stuck listening to my jibber jabber commentary, but I know you don't come here just for the sewing. I know you come here for like the camaraderie, right? You come here for me. Maybe, maybe. So let me iron this one too. There's my jumble up mess. All right. So I'm going to see if I can get this. See, I didn't cut this one the way I should have. Oh, nab it. All right. But remember, I only need 18 inches. So you definitely want to get these like all. That is not the corner. I'll show you what I'm fighting with. So I've got this kind of like this. And I want this to be even. But I want it to be. So I have to start doing this. I know I'm talking in this and that, which doesn't mean anything. So I'm trying to get the fabric to like line up pretty good. All right, so that feels right. If it didn't, it'd have like this like wrinkle over here at the fold, but it doesn't. So I've kind of got this, but look how poorly it was cut. See that? Can you see that? So see how it's like not so bad here, but then as we go, it, how uneven it is. See that? So that's why you definitely, that's the other part to washing it, is it shows you, like, the error in cutting. Because you don't, you know, they don't cut this straight. They're, they, they're, they've got ten things going on when they cut your fabric. And there's probably a line, you know, because it's Black Friday and you're buying all your fabric. If you caught, if you didn't catch my live show, I had, like, a very dramatic experience buying my fabric. They accidentally pushed a seven before they wrote my 1.5 yards and they overcharged me. And I didn't know it till after I paid. I was like, whoa, I did not mean to spend that much. $235 at Joann's, but they got it fixed. They did get it fixed. It was crazy, 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 crazy. All right, I'm over ironing this for sure. It does look good, though. I do like that kind of busyness to it. That's how I roll. All right. So I'm telling you, I'm a lazy sewer. And, you know, it's funny because I know the correct procedures to sew. I just prefer not to. Okay. So let's see. See, I sit in like the stool because again, that's how I roll. Let's oh look, I can't even get this thing straight. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
organizing that into a safe spot. <laughs> yep. I'm so proud of you for getting your kombucha started. That was nice for somebody to bring you a SCOBY. I'll be bottling my kefir water today for some healthy soda. Nice. You know, but sometimes, oh, oh, is she coming? Katie, is that you? Will you go get Katie for me? For her to read all the commentaries for me. All right, you can read the commentaries if you want to. I don't know. If, I don't know who's coming. Are you going to do it? Do you have a t-shirt on? Or are you still bare chested? He left. I don't know what he's going to do. Um, I don't even sew. Just here for the company. Hey, lonely homeschool mom. You know what? You'll want to sew. You keep hanging out with me. You'll you'll want to sew. You will. All right. So I've got to cut this other one. Now this one I'm cutting for 18 inches. This is the back side and the side trim that I'm going to do. All right. So let me show you just how horribly cut this is. So see this right here? Let me show you the way I'm looking at it. So see this right here? So I have to like literally trim this off. So I'm going to lose almost two inches where they cut just to square it off. And then from once I square it off, I will do, um, I will do the 18 inches. So one of the things I'm doing here is I do make sure there it's in focus. I square this like lineup right here to the, um, not to the fold, but to the, the salvage right here to this white salvage to make sure that I've got it straight but unfortunately I cannot cut fabric like this so let me set you back up yeah I think tell me if I'm moving this thing too much I just I just have a counter that the family uses so if I want to sew I have to clean it first I have a whole construction trailer I might not have much of a house but I got a construction trailer I don't think this is folded very well. I gotta fix this. That's what will happen. All right. I still don't think this is good, but I'm gonna go with it. Is she here? Hey, honey. Hey. We were wondering if you were coming. You want to get that computer set up? Yeah. I didn't even set the computer up for. <laughs> I have a brand new sewing machine. I did my very first baby project and hemmed my hubby pants and I broke my needle. That's right. You're supposed to change your needle out with every time you sew. It's too low. Well, then you got to get the power charger. All right. So now I count my six inches. I use this to count my six inches because it's six inches. So I'm doing three of these. So. Hmm. All right, to here. Okay. So that's 18 inches that I'm cutting. 18 inches. Of course, I'm going to organize this with the other stuff over there. My daughter just made her first ever chocolate chip muffins. Nice. Hey, did y'all see on Instagram how much Katie has, um, the inflammation has gone down on her face? I know, I'm looking at the thing and not at you. Um, how much is, one, what was that? Okay, it wasn't a, it wasn't a machine or like something expensive. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the salvage off on this. I don't have to, but I should. My dot, um, should I? Maybe I won't. Okay. So this is about the length of my table runner. It's not very long. If you wanted to do it longer, you would just need to do um, not, you know, not with the fold. You would do it the other way you would do. And if you want it bigger, you'll see you would just increase the sizes of it. All right. So I'm going to match up my fabric 
And when I say match up, I'm going to put right sides together. Man, this thing is like not doing it. I don't get it. It's like, I think, well, that's, I don't want to give you my muffin top. Seriously. Maybe there we go. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do here is, did it just move? Is it just me? Did it just move? I think it's moving on me. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side here. Like this. And I'm just going to match them up. Ooh, do I have pins? I got some. See that? That's how I keep my pins. All right. So I'm just going to line it up here. I don't even need this anymore. Okie dokie, artichokey. And I'm pinning. I'm, I'm pinning it a little bit so I don't lose my spots. Normally I wouldn't. If you are, a, if you've been sewing for a while, you would have like, you know, 12 inches between. If you're new to sewing, you might have about an inch. I've been sewing for a long time. I just eyeball I, it all. I can't find it. Should I just sit there and read it from there? Um... Do you have your tablet? Yeah. Where's your tablet? Just make sure you turn the volume off. Um, she said she wishes she could live closer to you so she could bring you some. But we all the way in Michigan. Yes, that's a little bit far. And see, like, some fabrics are not the same le length at all. See, like, this one ends and I got, like, an inch overhang. But it's all good in the hood. All right, so I'm just... Lining this up. What's wrong? I'm just waiting for it to turn on because it dings. Oh, okay. You can do it. It won't matter. We'll be fine. Nobody will mind. Yeah, so I'm trying to get, like, things organized. I feel like I'm always looking for that magic curriculum, but I feel like I, I'm not giving myself much grace this year in our homeschool year because, um, you know, it's just, it's been hard this year doing, living in the tiny house. It's been hard this year um, living in the tiny house. We had a hurricane, the whole nine yards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch this together. So I still have to plug. Hey, will you, um, I'm so glad she's here. Will you plug my plug plug in? Oh, that's heavy to reach like that. Um, again, this is my self-decorated sewing machine because my son dropped it because I didn't have it in a um, case and we we're being in a hurry. And he said, and he didn't like just drop it, drop it. He went ahead and um, he set it somewhere that wasn't entirely the most secure spot. And then it fell. Something moved and then it fell. I was very sad. Whew. I got a feeling all the kids are going to come in. What do you think? So don't forget, when you stitch here, backstitch at the edge. So I just put my salvages together. I'm going to end up cutting them off because I want it to... Um, it won't give like the, like um, the rest of the fabric will. Because this is actually where they like fuse the fabric so it doesn't become unraveled. Such a polite little one in the background. Thank you. Mama, I yeah. found you. I just need to figure out how to... Here, bring it to me. I'll show you. So let's see if we can put this to the true test. Ooh, I think we got it. Okay, so right here, live chat. Mm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Mm. So I think I have to... Um, all right, it's going to get a little rocky here, folks. I want to give you, like, the front and centered, um, the front and centered view of my creation here. Ooh, we'll do it, like, right here. This will be a new one. Ready? How's that? There it is. I'm giving it to you live. I know this is probably going to be loud. You're going to want to turn your, um, Thing down. Actually, I'll mute. I'll mute it while I do this, so it doesn't like.
Okay. How was that? Is that just not awesome? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna move you back over here. Um, is what? There's a seventeen in my life. No. Can you not see? I'll fix it. Here we go. Look at that. All right. I can't really see your face. Well, I can't see it because this has done it. I just have to. There. Oh. Well, that was just so cool. I know. That's my that's my new webcam. I love it. All right. So I got to cut it. And it does cut. I should have done that. It was really awkward, though, like having to work around. So I stitched this first one, and you see it's not quite even. What I'm going to do is I'm going to iron this flat and show you how I iron it. And again, we'll see if we can do this well. It's not my favorite pattern combo, but it's going to be um, good. Now have you on the big screen. Yay! Rocking the baby! Alright, so let me stitch you here. Alright, so what I'm doing, I'm going to start this way. So because this is darker, I'm going to want, I'm going to kind of push. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I am. I'm actually going to iron my seam flat. I'm not going to open it. So a lot of times you'll see them open the seam like this. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to actually iron it flat. So in order to get a good iron flat on this, what are they saying? Tracy says her daughter says hi to me. And huh. I say hi back, Sasha. I guess, why is my mouth not working? Mouth's not working because you're in a hurry. Get out of here because you're leaving your mama on her own. Mm -hmm. All right, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually first lay this out and iron it like this. See that? And then it makes it a lot easier because I can pull this top one like this, and then it will push that seam nice and flat without moving the inseam. And there might be a better way to do this, but that's not what I do. Okay. So once we've gotten that done, put that in a nice safe spot there. And while I have this on the table, I'm going to come here. And now I'm going to take this other end. Can you see that? I'm going to take this end, and I'm going to bring it to the other edge. And I'm going to start up here. That's not a great place for my iron. Okay. So I'm going to bring it up here. And I'm going to pin it really quickly. Like this. Can you see? On a second. So I'm just going to come here. And I'm going to pin along the top. So see if I can get you a good view of that. <laughs> All right. So once you get this down, it is so easy to do. Now, if I was doing um, a batting or something like that, or putting that, what is that? The Maris, Melissa and Claudia have a, have a question. Is it normal for is it normal YouTube videos? to take forever to upload and process. I've made a homeschool curriculum one, but it's four parts and taking a long time to upload. How many minutes is it? How many minutes is your um, video? Because I'm gonna tell you, when I first started before I had more subscribers, I think I was like on the priority list of not, of non-existent with YouTube. So it would take forever because I was the non-priority. It's not too bad anymore, but I mean, I haven't uploaded a video in a month and a half. Isn't that sad? I'm doing this instead because this is all I got, folks. This is it. All right, so I'm going to stitch this. I'm not going to set you up for that this time. I'm going to stitch this real quick. All right, hold on. I move my chair.
This is the one that they do at church all the time that they sell. I'm not doing a really good job keeping it straight. I should be, but... Okay. I'm going to cut that. So, the next thing I want to do is collect my pens so I don't have that problem. I still haven't changed out my mat. This one needs to get retired. And I haven't done it yet. Because I have that new one, but I haven't set it up yet. All right. Is that the one that you wrote to Dad on? No, that's the other one that I wrote to my husband. But you're to see, like, it's wrinkly. But that's okay. It's really okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold it to one side like this. To see this. I'm just going to cut that um, extra piece off. You should not freehand this. But I probably will. Nope, there it is. I won't. I'll use my garbage. If you have scissors, you can use scissors. It's not um that bad. Just cutting it off. See, there it is. It's gone. Tony Me Meadows says this Tanya. is Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> you having a hard time today, aren't you? Yes. Yes, very. <laughs> she says this is fun. All right, and then I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to kind of take off the salvage on the top here. She says, don't you wish you had a camera crew? Right. Could you imagine me on, um, have you seen, I haven't seen it, but I keep seeing the commercials for like, it's like a Martha Stewart type sitcom, except she's just a hot mess and everything goes wrong. And Tommy, like, I did a Thanksgiving special. Of course I said yes. And like, she's missing her teeth by this point. She's just a hot mess. Oh, I'm so non-existent. I probably got 38 subscribers. Oh, y'all go over there and side click on Claudia. Just if you roll your um, mouse over on hers and then I'll have a couple dots. Actually, if y'all have a channel, let everybody know so that you can go subscribe to each other. Get a little boost in your subscribership today. All right. So. All right. So I cut this tip off. Now the big part Chris, is. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Now the big part is the iron. So I ironed the one side, but not this side. So I need to iron this side too. Crystal says, "Hi Trish, I missed you. I missed you the other day. We had moving stuff and dug it today. We'll be getting a sew machine. It's been crazy. I can chat and watch you for a few minutes. Are you? Aww. You are looking good. Keep up the work." Listen, I did lipstick, so I did, like, my mom did her um, makeup yesterday. I was like, yeah, I need to be doing my makeup. And then, so I did my eyebrows, and I did my eyes. You know, that was just eyeliner, just, I mean, literally a brow pencil, because I've got non-existent eyes. Eyeliner. And I did a lipstick. And then I got into kissing all the kids, because it left lip lipstick stains. And when I got here and started, I went, oh, I've got nothing but lip liner going and no lipstick, but it's still the same stuff. But thanks. Is it the blue shirt that helps? I think it's a blue shirt. All right, so I got to iron this again. And again, I'm going to just press this iron. I'm going to press it so it irons flat that way. And it's a little bit different this time. Kind of do it like a tube. I'm going to do it like a tube like this, and I'm going to push on it as I go. I have watched this again to see the steps. I know I'm not doing, I'll go over it real quick at the end. Because I am kind of all over the place today. Like, you better be here for the long haul. Mm -hmm. You gotta forgive me for that. All right, can you see? So, see how this thing is standing up like this? So, I'm just gonna pull this here taut. And so, it's opening up that seam, and then I'm just pushing that seam over. And I'm doing that as I go. I don't think it's even. It doesn't look very even. But it'll be fine. It will be fine. All right. So now that I've done this, so all we've done is we've had, 
a 12 inch i'm going to recap we have the 12 inch piece we have the 18 inch piece all we did was meet them up and sew them on each side and then iron them shut or iron them open right now i'm going to turn it inside out okay this is where the good ironing takes place so the whole you kind of get this like runner look and you've got to center it this is the hard part the centering it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to center it like this and i'm going to just iron the tips right here at both ends and you're going to see why in just a second so let me do this you know why i'm doing this mm, no i'm not sure because then it lets me center the um here I'm gonna iron this one okay so I just came here and pulled it out like this and ironed it and I did that so that I can take this crease and this crease and meet them up and then I know I have it centered so there's the one and so see now I have you see that I have it even on both sides and so I'm gonna do that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron this Okay, we have to catch up now. <clears throat> Melissa says, so, so sweet of you. Tanya says, Claudia, I subscribed. Melissa and Claudia says, thank yay, thanks, Tanya. And Crystal, connecting the dots, says, yes, the blue is great on you, brightens you up. My boys are watching with me while you're sewing. And Tanya also, and Tanya says, I love the towel, towel insert idea. I would do the towel insert idea to match up behind the 12 inch piece, not the 18 inch piece. And you can go a lot wider, you know, difference between them. It's all really personal preference. The one I'm doing, you know, I just did it this because that's what I see in the inch just to be, and I didn't want to have to think about it. But these, you can have easy sets for any season. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put a top stitch on here because when I wash these, these will make me nuts. Hmm. And I didn't straight stitch this really well, so I'm going to I'm going to trim this up. I'm going to trim it up. like this so I just kind of squared up my ends now there's a couple things you can do on this I'm gonna do um this one good so this is what it looks like so see I have that trim there so if you wanted it to go more you know wider and you wanted it still this like 12 inch length it's a little bit more than 12 inches like probably 14 inches length um, you could just add to the outside piece if you wanted it to come in narrower you could um, leave this 18 inches and make this 10 inches. You know, really comes down to what you like to see. All right, so this one's done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. I'm just going to zigzag stitch this top piece to close it. And you're going to see it's just a nice finishing technique. But I'm going to straight stitch it, and then I'm going to top. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to wait a little bit. Just give me a moment to do this. This is cool reading practice for your daughter. Right? Except she's like reading at a high school level long before she hit fourth grade. <laughs> I can't Trish, even keep up with her. Crystal asked, Trish, what sewing machine is okay to get as it's been a long time since high school and college that I did this? Like the choice on fabric. Um... How, what do you want to get into doing? I have an em Brothers Embroidery and Sewing SC400. I have it because it is the best deal for an embroidery machine. I don't do heavy embroidery, but when I want to monogram or do, I'll have to pull out. Um, I'll show you next week my Christmas stockings I did embroidering with this machine. Oh, I love the Christmas stockings. Yeah, they look so good. Um, and, I mean, I don't embroider enough to be like, I can whip them out. I don't whip them out very easily, but... 
I don't know, if I had somebody sit next to me and be like, I want this embroidered, I would so be doing it all the time. Crystal says, sorry for the spelling mistakes. Quickly typing while waiting. Okay, so here's essentially the runner. We have one more step to do to finish it. But I kind of don't want to deal with this moving and I as I wash it and then you have to iron it and find these creases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to put a red stitch, a top stitch, on this side of the middle here so that it will hold its place and it's not going to move. Um, when I do a top stitch, I typically hit my um, length about three and a half, almost four, because it's not holding it together at a seam. It's just a top stitch. It's a decorative stitch. That's what's on top of your clothes. The nicer clothes tends to have a top stitch. So I'm going to grab and put a top stitch here. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm doing this step on each side, and then I'm going to do the zigzag, are just finishing techniques to really hold your you know, project together as you use it. If I don't do this, you know, it looks good the first time. It might look good the second, third, fourth time. But as you use your project in its everyday life, it's not going to hold up as well. So this is just a quick finishing technique. So I'm just going to put this top stitch in. You see it? Release. Marissa says, let me guess, the Guppy Readers? And Tanya says, another good tip. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, really her big one wasn't the McGuffey Readers. She read off the Robinson curriculum list, and that was profound for her. Crystal says, I want to do all sewing, all sewing stuff again and things like what you're showing us, pillowcases, table stuff, so see, clothes, etc., and some embroidery, but I don't do much of that. All right, I gotta move, I'm just going to move the camera down so you can see it. All right, so this is what I've got going on. So here is my stitch. I did this top stitch to kind of hold the pieces together so it wouldn't move, and then Come on, focus. It just focused. Then there's a stitch that comes along here. And what that's going to do is going to keep it from moving around to, um, it's going to keep it from moving around to, um, think McFly, think. So when you wash it and stuff, it wears better. So I'm going to do that on this other side too. Melissa and Claudia say, my lofty dream is to make a simple pillow style. Duvet. Duvet the cover out of dreaming material one day. Next week, we are doing um, a pocket pillow case. It is so simple, you will just be like, crazy. And, you know, and also share my videos, especially on the sewing ones. Share my videos, please, because... It's a new thing I'm doing on my channel, and it doesn't have a lot of traction. I got you girls. I got y'all that come in, but it doesn't have a lot of traction. Person in I know, I'll get it. Okay, so see, so all I did was stitch this. It's not going to move on me. This is going to make a really great runner. Next, I'm going to do is a zigzag stitch. The purpose of the zigzag stitch is to keep this stuff from unraveling. It keeps it clean. And then we have one last stitch, and it's done. Yay, my girls. Yeah, Robinson is good stuff. Robinson is very good stuff. So let me get... Nice big stitch. Oh man. I didn't stitch it. I forgot to move it to the um 
other one. Now I gotta fix that. So I'm just setting my um, I'm just setting my stitch lengths is all I'm doing. If you had a serger, this is what you would have your serger do. So see, I just put that zigzag. It's kind of like a serger stitch, and it's just going to hold it there. It is. So let me show you the big trick. You ready? We're going to fold this just like this. I got to cut my, my threads. We're going to fold this and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to stitch this across. Now, remember I put that base stitch in so it wouldn't move. I want to make sure I'm on this side of that stitch. Crystal, oh, first I'm going to do the other side. Crystal says you're using a digital machine. It is. It's not an it's called the Enthusiast. It's not a highly digital. It's very minimal. I'll show you the machine in just a second. Okay. So I did both. I just did it so I didn't have to reset the settings. Um, Why are we folding? Folding it that way. You'll see. You'll see because it makes it beautiful. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to just fold this in like this, and like I said, I'm going to make sure I'm on this side. Um, definitely pin it. You don't want it to move. Is there a certain machine I should get? Well. Um, if you like to embroider it, if you want to monogram it, get this machine. But I like this one for easy things. There's so much you could do. If you want to maybe get into a little bit of embroidery, that's the machine. So I spent $400 for my machine four years ago. I just shared an Amazon link, and it was $300, which is huge, 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 huge. Um, so it all depends. It all, all depends. Family Roots Farm says, is there a certain machine? I just answered that. Were you not paying attention? No, I wasn't. She wasn't paying attention. You believe that? <laughs> all right, so make sure you double stitch at the edge of this. You're so <laughs> I, was got, I was thinking of going over the next step. You could just stand and while you're doing that. This one, I'm going to stitch it really good at the corner. Okay, so you're gonna fold it in half just like this. And I mean, seriously, this is you should better have one of these in the fair. Better have like as many projects as you can in that fair entry. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I wanna do it all at once, so then I can be like dun dun dun. <laughs> But how are you supposed to fold it out? How are you supposed to fold it out so it looks like how you? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Okay. Ah. All right. So once you've done this, this is the magic. You're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it out like this. Oh, I think I know it. You think now you know what I'm talking about? Like at the at the things that they do. Yes. So then you want to push this corner out. Push this corner out. And I'm going to iron it real quick and then show you the pieces. Because this is it. This is done. I just have to iron this side too.
All right, so this is my table runner that's done. See how fast that was? I mean, now granted, I could take a whole hour with my jabber jaw, but I mean, I could crank these out like nobody's business. So let me show you what it looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Let me get the, so see, this was the, oh no, where did it go? Oh. Uh oh. Uh, it's there. Oh, okay. Okay. So if I can get this set up straight. So here's the corner in. This is that top. This is the 12 inch. And here is that trim. And so see, this is about a 40 inch because that was the width of the fabric. If you wanted it longer, you'd have to go down the length. And then I said it was reversible. Okay. And then here is the other side of it that you could do reverse. So see, that's just the pocket that we did. Now we could sew this down and it's up to you. Now let me show you what it looks like. It's not really meant for, um, Banana Grandma is here. Banana Gram! Girl, you made it. Okay, so, you know, so this is the top end. There it is. You know, and you can make them as long as your table and so forth. Now, the thing is, is if you wanted to, if you wanted to do it a different style, you could do it like this. So then that would be the cap. And then you kind of have that more camouflage versus this style. You would just sew the you would just sew it this way and then turn it out. Um, it doesn't matter which way you decide to do it. Um, I bet sewing a bell at the top would be cool. Or even um, you could leave it a little bit open, and when you get there, you could do a tassel at the end. I've seen buttons where they do buttons. Also, I mean, there's a lot of different ways and styles you could do this. Um, one of the things is you could do trim. You could put trim inside here. So I am going to, because again, I want it to, um, oh, look, I wasn't even. Huh, I wasn't even. Doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see. Nobody's flipping over my centerpiece. Um, I'm going to stitch this across just so that it has, um, it won't like lift up or fold open. I'm just going to stitch this across that's easy I guess I'm wearing ba bananas on my head again <laughs> banana grandma I know but I love it I love it um I've seen all those two on the ends yeah so you can do all the different ones but I mean that's it for a table runner I mean and doesn't that look just nice I wish I could give you a better view of it kind of deal so see, isn't that nice though? I mean, easy. You need to set your pots and whatever you do with the table runner. I don't know. All right, so let me show you my machine because it was asked about being digital. So this is the extent of it being digital. Um, it is called the Embroidery and Sewing SE 400 Enthusiast. Do you think any sewing skill level can do this? Oh, this is anybody could do this. Listen, all we did was some straight stitches. We did nothing funky. Absolutely. Um, that's what I'm trying to make sure is just doing these quick sewing tutorials for easy for easy projects just to make sure that um, we, you know, that everybody's getting in their sewing machine. I want everybody on their sewing machine. You know, when you get better, you'll go find things way beyond what I have the patience to teach. But, you know, for now, if I can get you on your sewing machine, I consider that a win. Like I did a win. I won. So that's my goal. Is to get you on a sewing machine so any of these projects we're doing on thursdays if you just took your sewing machine out of the box you can pretty much attempt making these you just have to you know thread your machine and get it ready really marissa uh, so say claudia because it's really claudia here what did you mean about changing your needle every time so a good sewing enthusiast would um change their needle after every project because their needle gets dull and you want a sharp needle I'm not that sewer, but you're supposed to change it out every time you sew a new project. And Crystal says, oh, neat. my son just said he has seen this one when we were when we have been out. Oh, this t table runner. Yeah. And it's really I mean, really simple. It's just again, I set you up over here. Oh, and, ben and Bandana Grand 
uh, bandana yeah, grandma. We, we are sewing every single Thursday. Yes, we're sewing Thursdays. Um, it's just kind of we jumped on to do it for um, for the scrunchies because it was just like we were making scrunchies. I'm like, I got to show everybody how to make a scrunchie because, I mean, scrunchies need to make a comeback. I'm going to grow my hair out just to wear a scrunchie. And, um, and then we did it. We had so much fun doing it um, that, oh, oh, he's seen the sewing machine, not the table runner. And we had so much fun doing it. I'm like, let's do this every Thursday. So I'm just trying to come up with little, quick, simple projects every Thursday to do. Hopefully I won't run out. So if you see something in Pinterest you like, send it to me and I'll see if it's a Thursday qualifying project to do. Sewing is a dying art. Yeah, but it's coming back. It's coming back. It's really, you know, a little bit trending. Joelle says, I'm going to make these. These I use needles for denim because they are coated and last longer. Yeah, but um, yeah, and they're super sharp. And you know, you got a knit needle which has more of a ballpoint, otherwise it snags knits. Um, can we make Cindy Lopper leg warmers come back in fashion? Um, maybe not by me. You got to get the knitters out on that. Did not know that about needles. I have so much fabric. Need to get busy. Yeah. So the girls have a bunch of fabric because they're gonna make scrunchies to sell and then I've got a bunch set up to cut for pillowcases to do which I haven't done yet I need to get done and I'm always like I'll do it after this and then I, I have to go take care of things all right so this machine let me go back to this machine so this is um, let me see if I can do this sorry it's handheld here what's nice about this machine is everything which is kind of normal now is um, laid out for threading so it's not a guess this is a button that actually lets your needle go up and down. See that? So you watch that. Just by pushing that button. You know, which is nice for when you're pivoting. And then this is actually cuts your thread so you're not pulling out the long pieces to cut. And this is your rewind. What? What are Cindy Lott for leggings? Ask, ask them. Ask them. <laughs> what are Cindy Lott for leggings? She has no idea about girls just want to have fun. She she doesn't know. She's she's danced to the songs though. I swear I'm raising her right. She's danced to the songs. Um this actually has to do with watch. Oh. This actually has to do with when you're um going to embroider. And then it's nice too because this embroiders like there's the bobbin case it's so nice crystal says trish i would like to make a weighted blanket and vest for my autism sons jennifer says starting my boys pillowcases tomorrow want to start them today but they're just hanging about in my room and crystal says okay i like the features and the cutting i like that too and i mean now this thing has fallen down so see look this right here threads your needle watch this watch this watch this See that? That right there is all about threading the needle. See, it pops it in. And then this is an extra cutting feature. So, you know, like everyone has a cutting feature. So that's a cutting feature. This is just custom blue tape. Um, the other nice part is when my kids sew, this is a slower speed. So watch, this is full throttle. Oh, it's telling me to close my foot. Full throttle at that speed. See, wait, I got to make sure. Okay, see that? Now watch. Now watch. So that's all based. Yeah, I know. It does my thread came and it notified me that my thread, you know, has come out. But watch. We'll do this. Well, maybe. I will say, you know, it's been dropped. It's a little temperamental. I wish it hasn't been dropped. So what's really cool is right here. These are all my stitches, but so all my stitches are labeled here by the number. So if I'm looking for that stitch, I would just go through and find it. So one through 67. And so typically I do this one. This one right here with the double dots means I can do a, um, when I hit reverse, it's actually putting an anchor stitch in and not just reverse stitching. This one's just a reverse stitch. So I have this one that's on to the left and this one's to the middle. But when I come here, 
I can actually move that needle. So watch as I push it. Let's see if I can. There. Joel says, wow, I have an old machine. So see how I move that? And then over here is just the length of my stitch. And then, you know, see, I can hit reset. And I can have it set for memory. No problem. And so it does all those things. And then it gets into embroidery. And like I said, I'm not that good with it. But, I mean, I still buy old machines. I love old machines. And if I was going to get my kids a machine and spend $400, I'd buy this one. I would just buy them this one. This one is, like, my favorite one. Um, but I'm going to go. Let me see. I'm going to pull up. Um, my machine on Amazon and let's see if it's still um, we'll see if it's still on sale because it is such a good deal <coughs> you okay? yeah you sure? Uh -huh. but so seriously like if I didn't jabber jaw I could have all of these pillowcases done super super quick okay so let's see um it is the Brothers SE400 sewing machine. Oh, it's still $276. Okay, seriously, you've got, this is a deal steal. And, you know, they only, what I found in the past is they only have it, um, they only have it this time of year that they post that um this machine like it's only on sale once a year audio uh, says because us homeschool mamas just want to have fun wait is that a man she doesn't know mandana madonna so madonna she doesn't know how to vogue 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 it's just <laughs> i'm just making fun of the lyrics of the different songs she doesn't know them um no cindy lopper's just want to have fun because, um, but I actually saw Cindy Lauper and Cher in concert, even in my young age. Oh, wow, that'll be my Christmas present. Well, do it through my link. I mean, it is an F, it is a total, um, affiliate link, but please do it in my link, um, and grab it. And the nice part is like, I go and buy new bobbins at Walmart for this all the time. It's easy to do. And I still have the stickers on here be for my kids. That works out really good. But yeah, so I totally, again, when you make your projects from doing, um, um, from these projects, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. Please post them on Instagram. I want to see them. Oh, look, I did it again where I don't even know what they're looking at. That's funny. I don't like Madonna either. I don't like Madonna. But it was going on and they, you know. Back when I didn't know any better, it was going on kind of deal. But I'll post this on um, Facebook again, on my Facebook. And I'm going to try and get my pillowcases done so that, um, can I get that machine from your link to Canada? I believe so. I believe so. I'm going to put on Facebook and link um, this machine again because it is still a good deal. It's absolutely a good deal. What else do I have going on? And I don't know. I've allowed, I know I don't either anymore, but the, the me that stuck in the third grade totally does. I know. <laughs> the third grade. Love and the eye makeup. Thank you. And it was just, it's just, it was honestly Dollar Tree eyeliner. Because that's how I roll. Except I should remember to put the, like, the lipstick on. I feel like a, the next day. Man, did you see that we went to the emergency room last night? So the boys were wrestling around and my little guy is like hollering and I'll go in and check and I, I'm looking at his fingers and like the one is he not really huge, but it's just like got this like point sticking out and I was like, and it's white and I'm like, that doesn't look right. And so I looked at it and I bring him in the kitchen and I'm looking at his finger. I go get him some ice. I come back and look at it. And it's like twice the size already. I'm like, we're going to the hospital. So it's like nine o'clock at night. And we go to the hospital and the doctor's like, weren't you just in here? Because remember, he broke his arm in March. And so um, 
I know. Now I feel like I should be singing, I'm so fancy. Anyway, so he, I thought he, like, I'm like, he might have broke his finger. And then I don't want him to have, like, that weird, like, finger bent to the side because he broke his finger and we didn't do anything about it. And so I took him to, um, I took him to the emergency room because I'm like, you know what? Everybody's home. My husband's home. I can just go with him right now and get this taken care of. So we go there. Hold on a second. Go in the back of the van and get the gray tote that has those um, bags that we made at 4-H. Okay. So I take him there and um, we have it x-rayed and everything. And come to find out he is he had gotten an infection under his nail. So it's not an ingrown nail, but it's just an infection. And when they're messing around, it popped the um, infection and popped it open. So really what that is, is the infection expanding in his finger. And I noticed that because when I touched his arm, it was weird because after it happened, like he was like radiating heat up his arm. So they ended up getting him an antibiotic. And they're like, actually, it's a good thing you came in because it would have just kind of showed up out of nowhere. It would have showed up. And then it usually takes 11 weeks for it to run its course. And his finger would be like um, huge. You know, he would have just had this huge finger. So um, that worked out pretty good. I was like, whoo, whoo. But we were home by 10 o'clock. And we live like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes from the hospital. We were in and out. In fact, we were on Lieberbox last night. I think we were watching, um, we were listening to um, The Adventures of Bob White which is a Thornton Burgess book. I got... And we didn't even... Um, oh, here, let me have those first. So we didn't even get through, like, one section before we are out of there. Um, hope you, yeah, he feels better. He's just fine. We're old. My daughter's now gagging as you describe that. Sorry. So this is one from last year. I have a video on these. Well, I have a video out already on these on how to make them. I think, in fact, I made this one. And I did the extra trimming on here and I showed how to do it. But this is just a piece of flannel, flannel, flannel um, that we do. And then I go and order the, um, I don't order, I get the pieces on it. But, and I even show you how to like do a box top or, you know, a box, a squared off bottom. And then my daughters like to do it this way where they kind of cut the grooves and then they can cinch the bag up. And I like to do it like a little bag. Isn't that cute? So this is one that one of the kids did last night or the other night when we had it. So that's theirs. And then I don't know what happened to the other one. It must not have got finished. It must not have got finished. What else? Oh, and then we are going through stashes because my right. my mother-in-law. I know. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. So my mother-in-law used to teach the sewing club and then she doesn't teach anymore. She just She's getting older and she doesn't have the patience as she used to. And anyways, we're digging through some fabric that were get, was given to us. And it was from some girls that she had taught to sew. They're, they have now moved out. They've graduated and moved out. And their mom gave us all the fabric. And we came across the bag. And I just died laughing. I'm like, well, that's a Meemaw bag if you ever saw it. Because my mother-in-law was like, she makes these things. She she makes They're so cute. But she makes them. All right, so let's show it off. So my daughter was like, I need that bag. So this is, I call it the Meemaw bag. But this is just a pair of jeans, you know, some little kid jeans from, you know, probably the thrift store. And, you know, they didn't have the trim on there. She she just added the trim to the top, which I'm sure she probably had to cut part of the pocket, you know, like remove part of the pocket here to trim it. And then using the legs to make a handle. And then inside is that same fabric. But what's nice is it's even got the squared bottom. So it does sit, you know, it sits about like this. It would sit. And this fabric's really busy, so it's kind of hard. But um, it's got, let's see, can you see it? It's got um, pockets in it. So like there's a cell phone pocket. I think this was meant for Velcro. There's like this little tab here. But it's kind of busy, but um, we were laughing because we came across. We're like, oh, yeah, that that that's definitely a Meemaw bag. Meemaw taught that class on how to do it. But um, it is time for me to go. It is so time for me to go. I'll put the link for the machine in the description below. I'll post it on Facebook again. 
I hope you loved doing this table runner. But again, you know, just tag me in your projects. Um, tag me in the projects you make, especially when you're making them from the sew-alongs. I would love to see how they turned out, you know, just us sitting around sewing with you. It'd be really fun to see what you're making. So tag me on Instagram, post it on my Facebook, whatever you can. I want to see your projects. Joelle loves the bag. And they're cute. I've got some that I've made from um, doing, making aprons out of them. So that worked out really good. All right, so I'm going to get out of here and go finish cleaning up for Christmas. Um, Love the Meemaw bag. I know. Do we seriously have to clean up? Do you want to put Christmas out? We got to yeah. clean up the house to get a Christmas tree. We're going to get a little one. I'll post it on Instagram when we do it. We don't want to clean. We're just like, eh. All right. I'll see y'all later. Yep. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'll catch you Tuesday for Mama Chat and then Thursday for sewing. But, you know, next week is the pocket pillowcase. But these are great for making for, um, covering like the little throw pillows they're really great for those and you can do them for your regular pillow too all right we'll see you later